This video is going to be about production efficiency. So secondary production is going to be the amount of chemical energy in a consumer's food that is converted to their own new biomass during a given time period. So that production efficiency, we can think of it as the percentage of energy that's stored in assimilated food that is not used for cellular respiration and is not eliminated as waste. So in this example right here, when we look at the plant material that's eaten by a caterpillar, we have 200 joules total. And of those 200 joules that were eaten by that caterpillar, 100 joules were lost to feces. So that was not assimilated, so that is not taken into account when we're looking at secondary production. Over here, the other 100 joules was assimilated. 67 of those 100 joules was lost to cellular respiration, so that is not going to be included in our secondary production. However, 33 joules that was then converted into um, energy that would be used for growth and to produce new biomass, since it was used to produce new biomass, those 33 joules would be considered part of that secondary production. So to figure out the percentage of that secondary production or the production efficiency, we would take the net secondary production times 100% divided by the assimilation of primary production. And so for birds and mammals, they're typically going to have a production efficiency somewhere between 1% and 3%. So just to review of those 100 joules that were assimilated, we cannot count the 67 joules in the production efficiency because it was not used for new biomass. We can only count this 33 joules out of the total 200 joules for um, our production efficiency. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.